Hello ladies and mostly gentlemen, I'm gonna be and I can fly. Sort of. <laughs> Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here, and I think we should rewind a bit. <laughs> no, I mean even more to see how we got there. Really? The beginning of time. Come on, man. Ah, there we go. So as a young Vinny, I wanted to build a giant seesaw for one person. It was kind of a bucket list thing for me, and since I was between two projects, now it was the right time to build it. So I sketched it, run some simulations, and went to work uh, for two months. I first built the pivoting base, <laughs> then installed the first half of the main arm, which was already fun. <laughs> but got some safety issue with this original design. So I scrapped the first base and rebuilt a new one. <laughs> then ran some quality control on it, put back everything together, installed the second half of the main arm, and now I've got in my driveway a giant 45 foot long, looking thing which I named my flying machine and today I need to complete the spindle the human basket and the secondary arm so let's get to work Yeah, it seems that I committed myself to add a pivoting axle on the human basket. Because I stated in one of my shorts that with this machine I will be able to do front and back flips. <sighs> well, in order to do that, I'm using an old trailer spindle that I got from somebody who used it for a dune buggy. Hmm, pretty sure it's safe, even though I don't have the history or even a clue of the amount of abuse that this thing been through. But I mean, what can go wrong, right? Now let's build the secondary arm. And I know, it's the last time I'm gonna use all tubings for one of my projects. I know, I swear, I promise. Don't get mad. I was running low on tubing, so for the most part of the secondary arm, I'm gonna use pipes from a carport. Yeah, I bet it's hard to see, but uh, since that thing is made out of uh, six different parts and all of them were already a little bit bent, I think it's uh, straight enough. Well, that's straight enough for me. All right, so let's weld them up. 15 minutes later. Ah, uh, if it bends, it won't break. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, yeah, what can go wrong, right? Ah! Let's quickly build the human death trap, I mean basket, and then start the testing phase. So that should fit rather easily. And it does. So this channel is the, let's say the base of the human basket It will be all around here and I will be sitting in the middle. It's mounted on a trailer spindle so I can do front and back flips. But my uh, concern at the moment is that, uh, yeah, it spins quite freely. So that's gonna be a challenge to see how uh, I will be able to manage this thing. Oh boy, that's gonna be scary. Ooh.
Oh, seems that my plasma is not cutting. Shit. Okay, take two with some minor adjustments. Oh, still not good. There's a bad and a good side to build your own tooling. On the good side, if it's broken, you can fix it. But it's also the bad side, because you're probably the only one who can fix it. So no supplier to call to help you figure things out. Luckily, when I design things, I always take notes, which I can refer to later on. Much, much, much later. Hooray, it works! So this is how I'm going to be in the human basket. I still need to fabricate an adjustable seat and we should be good to go. Oh yeah, yes, I'm going to do flips. Yeah, sure. Got it? I built this CNC plasma table maybe five years ago and I never showed this feature I developed for tubings. So you can place any size of tubing and cut holes through them. Then to have true holes, you just flip it and repeat the process. I'm gonna build myself a backhoe in a few weeks and this feature will be quite useful. So you guessed it, this is the adjusting seat, which I'm gonna add a little bit of padding later on. Let's slap some paint on it and then do the assembly. Whoops, it's out of frame. It's still out. Shit. Perfect. Let's see how it spins. Hmm. Great, everything is assembled. First, let's try to do some flips. Yeah. <laughs> And I finally managed to do a front flip too. And we all tried it. Oh, I see. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Front flips are still the hardest to do, though. We readjusted the seat height. <laughs> so we know that the flipping part works. Now let's start testing the balancing motion by adding crushed stones in the counterweight, which I forgot to film. So here a reverse footage of me emptying the barrels. Oh yeah, the illusion is perfect. And now it's stuck in the up position because the counterweight's too heavy. Unfortunately, it was still too hard to pull by hand. But let's bring the old trusty rusty Civic. So we packed the basket with about the same weight as me, because first I want to run some unmanned tests to see how it will behave. The test was running smoothly as long as I was grabbing the right rope.
After re-watching the footage, surprisingly it was quite an impact. Alright, enough fooling around and let's try it for myself. No way, it's a Sunday. Tiens le bain. All good. All good. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's it. Now this is for now. Ouais, là on s'est rendu bien comme faut. On va la reprendre. Bon, ça. All good. You see, I was limiting the jumps height with this chain, but now let's send it. And even my friend trusted my work enough to have a go. Yes, I know, no flips. I already had enough things to look at for the first test. So flipping while jumping will be for another day. The day was coming to an end, so we packed our bags. Well, it's more like we removed them from the barrels. Then we fold the machine in two, and I finally could store it away, much to the delight of my neighbors. Yes, I'm probably gonna revisit this thing later on, but that is if it stops trying to kill me. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna start a new series on my little 1984 Massey Ferguson tractor. And yeah, this thing needs a lot of work to be done to it, and I'm planning on building a lot of cool attachments and do a bunch of unusual upgrades to it. But till then, go do something with your hands, your head, or both. Hey, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss my next series on the tractor.